you're listening to the Digitally Irresistible Podcast, where we cover the optimization of digital technologies and irresistible people. Brought to you by i Each episode features someone who sheds a little more light on the ins and outs of delivering a great employee and customer experience that has a measurable impact on the business. And now, here's today's guest. Hey there, welcome to another episode of the Digitally Irresistible Podcast. I'm your host, Bernie Borges. Today's guest is Sonia Rosario. Welcome, Sonia. Hi, Bernie. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. Glad you're here. Looking forward to our conversation. Sonia, in your role as an operations director, you oversee client programs in the insurance vertical. And in one of your insurance clients, your team went through a training program that is, shall we say, extraordinary. In fact, it exemplifies i commitment to delivering a great customer experience. So on this episode, I want you to share that story, explaining the training program, how it came to be, and the results. But first, let's begin with your introduction. Tell us about your current role and a little bit of your backstory to that current role. I'm currently the operations director overseeing multiple applications in the insurance and utility division. Um, started over 20 years ago as a dialing agent, if you will, uh, and progressed through multiple various um, positions throughout my career here. Um, and then recently, as of last year, I was just promoted into the director position. And I currently oversee uh, six insurance applications and one utility. Fantastic. Well, big responsibility, and uh, I can see how your career progression has led you to where you are right now. So tell us about this this client that I alluded to in the introduction and the care program that uh, that you're responsible for. Yeah, so the insurance world obviously came, you know, my background was mostly in the commercial outbound division, if you will. Um, So in 2009, we actually had our first insurance unit um, outbound member premium reminder call that was coming into our shop. And in doing that, all of our background experience was in commercial outbound calls. So we really had to engage into how we were going to get our teams to really understand the demographics of this elderly member now that we were going to be handling insurance Medicare premiums. Um, So we really did a lot of research around how we could really get them engaged with how the speaking with them is completely different than, you know, a business application, if you will. Um, So we did a lot of research and we put together a sensitivity training, uh, which really put them in the shoes of an elderly member, if you will. Um, The five cents engagement, if you will, with how does it feel to be an elderly person with maybe you have a lack of hearing or you have some vision impairment. Um, how it may speaking louder to them makes a difference, right? And speaking slower. Um, so really not engaged with your AHT, if you will, or your average handle time and, and really giving them the time um, and that amount that it might which take. Is, which is a little out of the ordinary, right? Normally Absolutely. we're very focused on AHT. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so this, it was more of a, how are we really going to get them to understand this? Yes, a lot of them probably were engaged with their grandparents. Um, but speaking with them every day on the phone for an eight hour day could be trying, right? Um, so we did the sensitivity training, but we also took it upon ourselves to reach out to local uh, organizations in the area um, to see if there was any volunteer opportunities in nursing care homes okay. or independent living centers um, so that we could have our team go out and spend some time really doing fun activities with these members, if you will. And, and how did how did the team actually embrace that opportunity? I mean, did they really embrace it? And what was that like? Absolutely. Um, I mean, at first, when my leader, Cheryl Smith, at the time, she was the one that put the whole thing together and reached out to these coordinators, if you will. Um, but exposing that to the agents that we moved into this t- these teams, it was like, wow, I get to do something, not call center, right? And go spend some time doing some volunteer work. Um, little hesitation at first, uh, but when I got involved, it was, it was something that they looked forward to. Um, and, you know, just going for an hour, once a quarter, just to spend a little bit of time and either doing crafts or playing bingo. I mean, they were so engaged with it at one point. Um, 
we ended up putting together like dances after hours and on the weekends for them, bringing in food, bringing in DJs. Um, so they really, really got a kick out of spending the time with them. And it really opened their eyes to, I think, what they were going to be dealing with on a regular basis. At i we love being accessible to your customers when and where they want. Seamless and easy, the way CX should be. Discover why top brands trust i for their omni-channel support. Smile with i -Corps. Learn more at i Wow. Wow. That's great. That's great. And so how did that work out? I mean, what kind of results did you see from that, that part of that extraordinary training that I alluded to in the introduction? Our clients loved it. Um, they were, you know, the, the quality was there. Um, they actually took it internally or asked if they could internally for the people that they were going to bring in for the sensitivity part of the training um, and do it with their internal teams. Uh, but the quality, I think, was of utmost importance and just making sure that, you know, they didn't miss a beat and that they they felt valued. Um, we always said that, you know, speaking with them, the elderly demographic, you really could be the only person that they speak with. Um, and I think in doing that, it really set the tone for the kind of work that we were going to be bringing into the, to our organization and what we do and how much we care about the people that we work with and the clients that we're serving. I would think, Sonia, that members of your team develop some bonds, some real connections with, with the folks that they were engaging with uh, and, and even might also be doing that even in phone conversations. Is that part of what you experienced? Absolutely. I mean, there was so many bonds that were made that even when you went over to the centers that we worked with, they remembered everybody by name. If one of them just happened to not be there because they were unfortunately in the hospital, um, it just left a dent. And we had a great relationship and they knew us all by name. A couple of people were blind and they could just have a sense of who we are. Um, so every time I remember one lady particularly, her name was Helen. And she would always ask, when is Sonia coming? Because she could just smell me, uh, which was impeccable, right? Um, it was just, it was really, really unbelievable. And just the agents, right? And in, enduring that um, really felt like we were giving something back for what we were doing every day. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That, that's outstanding. It's such, such a great story. And of course, as you said, the clients love it because, you know, you got the great results that the client was looking for. And made those connections with uh, yeah. their end customers. So thank you for sharing that story. I want to shift gears on you a little bit, Sonia, while we're together here in this short amount of time on the podcast, because we are still, as we're recording this and publishing this in Women's History Month. And I do want to ask you, who is a woman or two or three that has influenced you in your life? I have probably probably to say Helen Keller, um, first person to really earn a college degree being blind and deaf really sets the stage for if you dream it and you want it to happen, you definitely can make it happen. Um, and then I have to go to my grandmother. Um, long story short, she came over from Glasgow, Scotland at the age of 17 to the United States, um, not knowing anyone here, leaving her entire family and just had the courage and the will and the strong background to just say that she was going to give it a go, um, started her entire life here. And so that to me is just something so impeccable. Um, and really explains how strong women really can be. Yeah. I, I love the fact that you shared an example from your own family, your, your grandmother and, and the inspiration that she's had in your life and a little bit of her backstory. And then Helen Keller. I mean, yeah, Helen Keller was just amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So, I mean, I'm just getting even goosebumps, just thinking about her and her name. So thank you for referencing both Helen Keller and your grandmother as women that have influenced you. And, and again, for sharing that in honor of Women's History Month. So where I want to go next and last in our conversation, Sonia, and I think you know the drill, and that is, we always like to end this these conversations with this question. And that is, when you're not working, what do you like to do for fun? Well, my entire family, we are a bunch of beach bums. Bernie, um, living here in Pennsylvania, we try to get there as much as we possibly can. Um, but I do have two children that keep me on my toes. Aubrey's 14 and Carter is nine. And so I am a full blown sports mom all the way. <laughs> so when I'm not here, I'm rooting somebody on at all times. What kind of sports? Oh man. My daughter is in competitive dance, cheering and softball. And my son does football, baseball, and wrestling. Football. Wow. Yeah. You're busy. 
I am very busy, <laughs> but I wouldn't have any other way. I can relate. It's been a while. My kids are out of the house, but uh, I can relate. And that, that is so terrific. And, you know, enjoy those moments because they really become memories that you treasure for the rest of your life. Not yeah. to mention lots of great pictures and video and all that. So thank you for, for sharing that. And thank you, Sonia, for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know you've got a big job to be with me here today on this episode of the Digitally Irresistible Podcast. The story that you shared about this client in the insurance vertical and the approach that you took with the team to give them that specialized training and and and, and really get them bonding with the customers that they're talking to. It really is extraordinary. And the results that you've seen is, is extraordinary. And of course, the, uh, the the client reaction is, you know, of course, what we what we want is uh, along with the results with the customers. So thank you for sharing that story with us today and for the leadership that you deliver to your team every day. Absolutely. Thank you, Bernie. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Digitally Irresistible Podcast, where we cover the optimization of digital technologies and irresistible people, delivering a great employee and customer experience that has a measurable impact on the business. Brought to you by i Be sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast player so you don't miss future episodes.